My name is Brian Cristenzio from the band BC Camp Light. Today we're going to be recording a, a song called Your Daddy is a Little Girl. We're going to be uh, doing it as much as we can live here for Weather Vane Music. And uh, we'll, we'll see how it turns out. I typically am very meticulous and calculated and that's kind of going to go all out the window because we're doing this whole thing in a couple hours. I've never really done anything like this. Is that a 12 inch yet? Yeah, let me just see if I can just try to tune it. It'll be neat just to get the whole like band experience. I've never had a live experience of BC Camp Light on tape, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm very fortunate to have the people in my band because they could be seriously fulfilling their musical appetite with the 80 other bands they're in. Mike Kennedy, our great drummer, is the front man of Audible. Dave Hartley, bass players, uh, War on Drugs. Josh Holmstead, my guitarist, has his own solo thing. And Robbie Bennett is, is in about 70 bands. So I'm very fortunate to have everyone together today. Hot take, boys. You know, I guess I guess we were thinking it would be as live as possible, but then as kind of the day went along and people had to split, we started to sort of break it down, uh, figuring that we would do more conventional overdubbing. But yeah, we got we got mostly everything. We have a couple more things to do today. And that's, that's pretty much it. I'm just very big into soul music, Motown, and you know, anything from Sam Cooke and Otis Redding and all that stuff, which you wouldn't put together on your own listening to my music, but that's really the only thing that's in my CD player. As a songwriter, he has a super flair for the bizarre. In this song, it sounds really sweet and peaceful and loving, and it's about something really brutal and bizarre. He just has a really unique perspective on his songs. I, I really love that. I write in, a, I think, a very strange way. I don't sit at the piano and figure all this stuff out. I basically have this whole song in my head, and then I figure out how to play it. It's almost like I already heard it. I like to have everything exactly or as close to how I want it as humanly possible. So if it sucks, then at least that I made it suck. Yeah, I've never had a record come out in the United States. It's very, very frustrating to put so much work into something and then you can't get it around the corner, but you can you can get it in you know Oxford, England. What we're trying to do with Weathervane is make it so that in, in five, ten years, a great creative artist has more resources just than just what they can buy and set up in their bedroom. That becomes more of a, a shared experience, a community or a culture of music fans and musicians and recording enthusiasts can, can all feel good about, all tap into, all participate in. I'm really excited about it and this opportunity that I've gotten to do something for an organization, if you will, that looks to be doing some pretty unique and interesting things for musicians like myself.